Hello everyone, today I want to show you a very accurate method to measure your horse's jumping height. Knowing your horse's jumping height is important if you want to breed a good jumping horse, um, because the parents always give their jumping abilities to the next generation. The jumping height of the new horse is determined by two thirds by the parents and one third is a random value. So you always want to breed your best jumpers of course. And if you would use an inaccurate method, for example, you only use full blocks and half blocks, then you might not get accurate results. What is your best jumping horse? Because um, you will, will plateau and you would, for example, think, yeah, um, all horses can jump four and a half blocks, when in fact they can, um, some of them can jump a little bit higher. So let's first start with a method that you all might know. You can use no layers to get increments of an eighth of a block. So here, this horse can jump over two and a half blocks, for example. Oops, just forget it. Yep, and can't jump uh, five eighths of a block. Can't do that. But there's a very simple method how I can get even finer results. So you could, for example, use the new path block because it's um, fifteen over sixteen high. So if you look at the F3 screen, the Y value is 1.9375 and this is a 16 less than if you would stand on a full block. So the normal, in the normal Minecraft texture pack, blocks consists out of 16 pixels. And this is exactly one pixel less. So in order to clear the same obstacles, the horse always has to jump one pixel higher when it's standing off the, on the path block. So instead of uh, two and a half blocks, you would need to clear two and a half blocks and one pixel, which is two and nine over 16. And the horse can actually do this. And now we already get better results than uh, with this uh, measurement. Because here we only determined that it can jump two and a half blocks. But now we actually know that the horse can at least jump uh, two and nine over 16. Now you might be wondering, can we get even better results? And yes, we can, but it's not completely trivial because most of the blocks are, yeah, for example, a sixteenth of a block high or three sixteenths, like the trapdoor or the bed is nine sixteenths high, but we need something which would be a thirty second of a block high. And there's not much in the game. There's in fact only a single block, which is three over 32 high, which is the lily pad. So if you look at the F3 screen, we were at 1.09375, which is 3 over 32. So we can use the lily pads in combination with the snow layer method. So in order to clear um, two blocks and two snow layers, when jumping from the lily pads, you have to jump to and a 32nd of a block high. So like you can see, you have to subtract the lily pad height from the obstacle height. And this way, you can get even better results, but there are some values missing, for example. Um, so, what about 3 over 32? And yeah, 7 over 32. We are missing those values. Um, for, so, you could use the, the blocks I've shown before here, for example, the trapdoor, the bed, the carpet, and the path block again, but they are not. Um, blocks for every height in a game. So as you can see here, you could use the trapdoor and then you have to jump two and three over 32 high. But what about um, seven over 32? There's no block in a game that would work to get this height. When there are no blocks left, we can use there are still entities. So here the boat entity is very interesting because you can stand on the boat entity can see here, standing on the boat. And this is quite different. For example, you couldn't stand on a minecart, just sink in the minecart. And yeah, the boat is special. And the boat is exactly as high as a bed, which is 9 over 16. And yeah, we can use the boats in con combination with the snow layer method and the lipid method to get the other results we need. So here's the mouth behind it. The block and the snow layers, or the seven snow layers, is 1.75. Then we put the boat on top. Then we subtract the lily pad height, and then we get two and seven over 32. And this is what a full uh, testing ground for horse jumping height would look like. So 
we have the same host again. We already know that we can clear at least two and a half blocks, but we can't clear an eighth of a block more. If we use the path method, then we can get results in between. So we can clear 18 over 32. Now the question is, can we clear 19 over 32? Because we, no, we can't clear 20 over 32, but there's something in between. And on the other side, we use the lilypad method. Here we get those values. But yeah, 19 over 32 is not in there. So we have to turn to the other side. And here we yeah, use partially the, the boat method, the lily pads, and some of the odd blocks that are in the game we can use. So 19 over 32, that's um, two snow layers, yes, um, and a boat, and jumping from the lily pads. And the horse can clear it. So now we know that the horse can clear at least two and 19 over 32 blocks. It's important that the boat has to align with the blocks. So the edge of the boat has to be aligned with the edge of the block. And yeah, I'll quickly show you how you can achieve that. So I need a few pistons and I need a boat. Try to place it as straight as possible. Then place another block here. And then we need a piston to push the boat against the block. So it gets aligned. can see here now it's on the edge of the block and now to stabilize the boat we just push in full blocks from the top on the side so otherwise you could notch the boat so we need a piston on the top okay now the boat is stabilized and you jump on it with a horse, um, the boat doesn't get moved. But if the player uh, tries to jump in there, the boat would get moved. Also, yeah, try to make it spawn proof, um, but normally the boat already does that. But make sure that no mobs can walk in there because they, they could move the boat. And if you want to have blocks behind, you can just push them um, in from the top. So then you can do the same and just push those blocks down if you want the wall behind it. Okay, now might be wondering if is, are there even ways to get even better results? And yes, they are, but I don't think it's really necessary to go beyond uh, 30 seconds of a block. Um, in older versions, you could give your horse uh, the leaping effect, which is no longer possible. I think it got removed in 1.9 or 1.8. I'm not sure if that's really intended. It seems like a bug to me that an entity doesn't get uh, a potion effect. So I might make a bug report even about that. And you could use some math, I showed this in an older video, to get even more accurate results using leaping potions. And you could even stack, for example, boats on top of other entities and so on. Um, but I, I don't think it's really worth it. But in the next video, I'll probably show something where you actually need to stack boats on top of minecarts for a different purpose. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.